that a problem? Is 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 that a I have a teardown of the UE Boom Bluetooth speaker. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this video basically because I actually was looking for a teardown video of it and I couldn't find one. And so I figured since I had the, the UE Boom and I needed to take it apart, well, I figured what better way to do it than to do it live on video. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So, anyways, if you're not familiar with the UE Boom, it is a uh, portable. Bluetooth speaker for your uh, phone or for your laptop or for um, whatever device you have and I'm actually very impressed I'm not gonna try to review it or anything like that there's plenty of videos out there for review um, I do like this one because um, it is actually it's got this water resistant I should say it's got a grill where it actually you can get it wet and it doesn't really affect it so I think it's really great but without further ado what we what we've come to see on this video is how to take it apart and this will probably come in handy for you hobbyists out there. I'm, I'm a, you know, an engineer, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, I'm an all-around fix-it kind of guy. I like to take stuff apart. I like to reconfigure things. So um, I figured uh, I need to figure out how to do it. Now, just before we proceed, uh, please make note: this will void your warranty. If you have, if you have this and you, you purchased it and you and you're thinking about um, doing this, just know your warranty is void. Is void void so proceed with caution um, I don't recommend doing this unless uh, you know what you're doing or plan on taking responsibility for any repercussions so in order to get started the first thing you're going to need is a flat screwdriver a small one uh, you don't have to use specifically this one but just a nice flat screwdriver if you have one if you're really big into the iFixit thing and you have one of those plastic uh, spade uh, drivers that's probably even better but um, a plastic uh, screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. So basically what we're going to do here is you're looking at it, there's really not any visible uh, entry points, but what, we, what we're going to do here is we're going to pry this cap up. Now just so you, we're going to pry this cap up. And just so you know, it is glued. It has been glued. I've already taken it apart once before. I'm, now I'm doing it for you guys. But um, it is glued. So as soon as you start prying, you're going to hear some, some, some nasty little pops. So let's go in there. So first we take our little blade and we just kind of actually is that the side I want to start on? I'm gonna start on I'm actually gonna start on this side so we take our blade and we just kind of wedge it in there and you hear a nice little pop now the first time I did this it was <laughs> is a little more audible than that a little more frightening I should say I was like oh my gosh how, how bad am I breaking this thing but actually it wasn't too bad um, I will say that be careful um, well I mean you're gonna break the glue seal regardless how careful you are you're going to break the glue seal um, and then I actually you're there's a chance if you're not too careful you can break these little tabs but okay we've pried this one end off the way it goes once you pry that end off you can kind of reach and you pull it around and you pull it back and you actually unsnap these two little clips right here if you can see them these two little clips right here that actually uh, go into this board okay and then you just you come on around what you can do is uh, do a little prying here and I said this is my second time doing this so it goes a little bit it's a little easier because you no longer have the factory seal Don't be too afraid to get get the blade down in there and pop it up. There you go. So, um, like to make note that this did crack from the first time. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it this little clip did cla uh, crack. So it is split. You can see this is one whole piece. It's one whole piece, and. Um, it's rubberized. It's really nice. It actually, you know, they, they do really nice work. Okay, so I have that. Oh, I forgot one other thing. I need another screwdriver. <laughs> so once you get that cover off, you basically you have access to the uh, the volume buttons. 
Um, here's this is actually the Bluetooth antenna. Um, this is your your audio jack, your uh, USB charging, and your uh, power and your pair button. So last thing, forgot you also need a uh, slim um, Phillips. There's actually six screws right here. You just take these screws apart. Hopefully I'll be able to do this quickly. I've, I was reading online, you know, when I was looking for how to take this thing apart and um, a lot of people were complaining about the non-replaceable uh, battery and I, I read a little write-up about it and um, this is where it is. This is how you access it, but unfortunately, um, in order to actually really do anything, you really do have to take a lot of your speaker apart so which may or may not be a problem so this isn't going to be a total tear down because as in it's not going to be a total take the whole thing apart but I will give you access to the battery you, as you can see it is glued there's a glue seal and there's your battery right there and there's your wires now I'm not I haven't taken the rest of this apart and I'm not going to for this particular video but I did want to give you guys at least a heads up how to break into it and that is it's relatively non-destructive for the most part. Now, once you go and take the rest of part of it apart, then I think you've you've gone past the point of no return. Okay, so I just want to do this quick video for you guys, so you can see the UE boom and see how it goes. See how it was um, how to approach tearing it down, and that um, maybe on your next project where you need something like this for the UE boom with this sound, this awesome sound, uh, you know how to start it off. So. Thank you guys again for tuning into the fixer, and I will see you guys next time with uh, either a repair or a teardown. All right, peace. This episode of the fixer is brought to you by DJ TND. Actually, I want to give her a big shout out for letting me use her uh, music for the background of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Definitely follow her on her SoundCloud. I'll put the link in the description below. But um, DJ TND, great, uh, great young lady that I know, and um, she's doing some big things. So check her out, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.